All right, so how many of you have seen the sci-fi movie Oblivion with Tom Cruise? That's the sci-fi movie Oblivion with Tom Cruise. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And if you have seen it, go watch it again. All right, so Oblivion with Tom Cruise is one of my top 20 favorite sci-fi movies of all time. So that's three Tom Cruise movies in my top 20. Minority Report, Day After Tomorrow, and now Oblivion. So I'm going to read the synopsis of the movie, then I'm going to give you my breakdown of what it is I saw. All right. All right. In the year 2077, Jack Harper. Yo, that's deep. It seems like in every movie Tom Cruise does, his name is Jack, right? Jack Reacher and, and some other movies, I think his name is Jack. But um, in 2077, Jack Harper, Tom Cruise, works as a security repairman on an Earth left empty and devastated after a war with aliens. Jack has two weeks left before his mission ends and he joins his fellow survivors on a faraway colony. However... Jack's concept of reality comes crashing down after he rescues a beautiful stranger, Olga Koryalenko, from a downed spacecraft. The woman's arrival triggers a chain of events that culminates in Jack's nearly single-handed battle to save mankind. All right. Now, with that, let me add what it is I saw in this movie. Have some notes i mean i know the story off top but i just gotta have the notes so i don't say things out of order now you got tom cruise or jack all right and he's flying around in some small like futuristic helicopter as a repairman all right he repairs these fighter drones so like they said the earth been decimated from a war with aliens and all the humans have left earth it's only tom cruise and his wife played by Andrea Riseborough. And both of them together, they repair these security drones that are overseeing the evacuation. There's some earth collectors, some water collectors, and these drones guard over the machines. So if a drone goes down, if a drone goes offline, a drone crashes, Jack, Tom Cruise, has to find it and he has to repair it while she handles all the communications. That's the crux of the movie, okay? Um, and then there's Sally. She's the head of operations up at the mothership, which is called the Tet. And the Tet is some inverted pyramid upside down with an all I see and I in the middle. Yeah, so it's called the Tet. You know, short for Tetris or the Tetragrammaton. But we'll get into that later. Now, there's supposedly some humanoid-like creatures, right, roaming on the planet. And Jack avoids them at all costs. That's what the security drones are for. The security drones find these scavengers and kills them. So Jack makes no contact, right? Now, Jack and his wife, they live in some, like, elevated condo up in the sky where you need these ships to get up there. You can't just get up that high without a ship so jack and his wife they seem happy you know and like i said their torah duties over in two weeks then they go join the other humans here's where it gets interesting all right wife seem happy jack keeps dreaming about another woman olga korolenko on top of the empire state building then he wakes up all right then he gets up, he goes out looking for some of these down drones, as well as in between, he'll go stop at like important landmarks, the White House, the Pentagon, the Statue of Liberty. He'll, he'll visit a lot of ruins in the aftermath of the war, okay? So, all right, what's a recap? So he has to fix these drones, avoid the scavengers, and he's married, but keeps dreaming about another woman. You with me, right? All right, all right, all right, all right. So one day, there's a downed drone. When he finds it, it's underground, down in some hole. 
in some type of like military facility. Okay, while he's fixing the drone in the dark down in this hole, the scavengers jump him and they almost get him. But the drone that he's working on, it cuts on and it kills them for him. Kills all of them, like 10 of them, all right? So as he's about to crawl out the hole behind the security drone, you know, the drone kills him and just goes out the hole and leaves. He's about to crawl out the hole and follow the drone. Then bomb, blackout. Some of the scavengers are still alive. They capture him and they knock him out. So now he's knocked out. He feels himself tied up. He wakes up in the dark. And then surprise, surprise, it's Morgan Freeman. Yeah, Morgan Freeman sitting there waiting for him in the dark. Better known as Malcolm. <laughs> I shit you not. His name is Malcolm. And Malcolm's the leader of the resistance, of course, you know, the leader of the scavengers. And the scavengers are really the last of the humans left on Earth, all right? They're not really animals and creatures like the Tet's been telling them, like Sally and the people in the Tet. So Morgan Freeman, he tells Tom Cruise, Jack, he's working for the aliens, not the humans, and that his wife isn't really his wife right so now remember he's been captured his wife can't find him so she skins she sends the drones out she sent like 10 drones out they found a faint security like they found like a faint signal off of jacks whatever and them shit started blowing up the fortress where the scavengers were hiding so the scavengers had to let them go or, or them drones was going to tear that shit up all right so now He's free. He's skeptical of his wife. You know, he's wondering if the dream is real about the girl he keep dreaming about, Ora Korolenko. You know, now he confused. He got Malcolm to deal with. And that's just the beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take a break. Take a break. I know that's a lot. Take a break. join the others. Don't take any chances. Who are you? The people you work for lied to you. There are people down there. What aren't you telling me? I can't protect you. This time, you knew the truth. Chuck. How do you know my name? Who are you? Stand down! This is just the beginning. Oblivion. Rated PG-13. In theaters and IMAX, April 19th. All right, so now, one day, he's out repairing one of the drones, okay? He goes beyond what they call a forbidden zone. It's a place where he's never supposed to go. But he got curious. He went past it, all right? And he lands, and he sees a ship just like his. He goes to investigate. He sees a clone of himself doing the same repair jobs that he does. So now he realizes Malcolm told him the truth. And now Tom Cruise, Jack realizes that he's the leader of the resistance, that the aliens captured, killed, and cloned, and made him the leader of this army that's cleaning up the planet. So, you know, now, of course, Malcolm wanted revenge. So Malcolm told Tom Cruise, yeah, I got a plan. You're gonna have to bring me up to the mothership in space, to the inverted pyramid, and we're gonna blow these motherfuckers up, all right? 
So, you know, Tom has to still play it off with old wifey, though. So, you know, he tries to go back to doing his repair thing. Then all of a sudden, um, one day a ship crashes, okay? He rushes over to see what happens. He goes in the wreckage and he sees that the drones are in there shooting and killing the survivors from the crash. He finds one, a woman, a survivor, and it's the woman he keeps seeing in his dreams, all right? And he winds up finding out this is his real wife, okay? So now you already know. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. So when he brings Olga back to the house, to the wife, to the command center, she loses it. So she yells out some secret kill code to the command center operator Sally, and it's an order to kill Tom Cruise and the girl. So the drone that they got sitting in the house that ain't been on all movie, this is their personal one in the house, this shit comes to life, this shit powers up. This shit moves over ready to kill Tom Cruise. This shit gets in front of him, this shit powers up, this shit get ready to shoot him. Then at the last second, this shit turns around and shoots her, shoots the wife. So instead of killing Tom Cruise, it kills the wife for snitching. And now the aliens, they want Tom Cruise to come up to the command center, up to the tech, in space. And they want him to bring Olga. So they can clone her and replace his old wife. See, that's where the whole flaw in the aliens' plan was. They meant to capture Tom Cruise and his wife Olga, clone them, and let them be the workers. But Olga got away and she crashed somewhere and the ship that they were on, that was the ship they were trying to get away in. So they finally wanted her so that they could clone her and put her back out there as a couple with him to get rid of that crazy tension all through the movie that you seen between Tom Cruise and his supposed wife, Andrea Riseborough. All right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 Tom Cruise put together some wild plan, right? Um, him and Malcolm go to space with a bomb. You know, they do some wild shit. They got to do some crazy shit to get inside of the tech. They barely make it, but they get in there. And then Tom Cruise is talking to the all I see and I. You know, give him some crazy speech. And, and basically, it's a suicide mission, and then... You know, Morgan Freeman pops out of nowhere. They didn't know that Morgan Freeman was a stowaway. And then they blew that shit up. Blew that shit to smithereens. With so, you know. And then back on Earth, Olga Kurilenko, she wakes up, you know. And, you know, she sees the explosion in space and she thinks Tom Cruise is dead. But what Tom Cruise did was... He kidnapped that clone of himself he saw. He beat the clone up and put the nigga in the barn tied up. So when the explosion happened and she thought she was all alone, the clone of Tom Cruise came out of the fucking forest like bomb. Like he left him as a gift to her to start over with. Mm, that shit was deep You gotta see it I'm telling you I ain't doing it no justice You gotta see it You gotta see that shit That shit is crazy Now What's the subliminal message In all of this Now when you psychoanalyze These sci-fi movies First of all You know You gotta understand They're written by some of the most highest level masons, you know, coded with hundreds of subliminal messages. You know, and if you really look at this story, first you gotta look at Jack, Tom Cruise, that's a black man. Most of these movies you look at in Hollywood, you have to look at the, the starring character as a black man first and foremost. You gotta see through that misdirection. Hollywood will make it a white man to misdirect you, so it won't personalize the story. You gotta look past that. He's a black man, right? He's living with a woman that he thinks is his wife, but it's not. And he's dreaming about another woman. What does that symbolize? 
you know, the black woman not being herself, him not feeling like himself. You know what I mean? They live within a system that isn't naturally theirs, right? He remembers a better version of her, you know? Um, a warrior like him, not some un uptight, suit-wearing, stiff, that beholdens to the tech, right? His wife, he, he had this feeling that his wife used to be a warrior. Like, she was strong. She was down for the cause, right? It's, it's like he realizes, like, he, he a stranger to himself, you know, from the genetic modification, you know, that he gone through from the aliens cloning him. Like, the black man and the black woman here in America, we've been cloned. We're not our original selves, you know? Same thing we experienced in slavery, the genetic modification through bucks and winches and the race mixing, you know. So he's lost in the sauce, just like we are, you know, but still deep down he doubts his life. He knows something ain't right. He doubts his job. He doubts his wife. You know what I mean? And then he goes in this deep hole and meets Malcolm. What did Malcolm symbolize down in that deep hole? That was his inner consciousness. That was who he used to be. His Malcolm consciousness, you know, Malcolm never really existed. You gotta remember, it's like, it's almost like Morgan Freeman wasn't even really there. Malcolm never really existed. But it was like his hyper black mind manifested in a, in a physical entity like Morgan Freeman. Almost like Brad Pitt in Fight Club. You know, he didn't exist. You know, that was a fragment of his imagination. You know what I mean? So he got his consciousness and his swagger back when he ran back into Malcolm. Malcolm was the exorcism uh, of of the old lies and, and the and the bullshit that he was falling for, it revealed his imposter wife to him, brought his real wife back to him, and then it gave him that black mind consciousness, that revolutionary consciousness to devise the plan where he knew he had to die in order to complete it, but then left an exact clone of himself for his wife to be free with and start over with. 